All right, this is Lynn with Lynn's Hangouts, and we're here today at the very fun venue Laughs Unlimited in Sacramento, putting a twist on this favorite fan interview by interviewing the owner of Laughs, Skip Capuana. I hope I pronounced that right. That's correct. All right, Good super. <laughs> So Skip, thank you so much for chatting with us today, and your beautiful wife Lori. Just just met Lori just now, so that's awesome. Seen you around, but never officially met you, so that's very cool. So, all right, Skip, let's talk first about how you became associated with Laughs Unlimited. Uh, I'm certain that you enjoy comedy, I would imagine. Uh, but how and when did all this get started for you? What's the scoop? Well, it's it's really a funny story okay. uh, as far as getting involved with the comedy. Although you see, you're interviewing me, and I pretty much. Um, seem to be the face of Laughs Unlimited because I do the marketing and the promotions True. and of course the music. True. But the real power and the brains and the substance behind uh, the whole movement is my wife Lori nice. and her daughter Jenny who are actually the owners. Very cool. You know, Very they allow cool. they allow me to do my passion here which is, is the music. Oh, so okay. uh, my daughter Jenny worked for Laughs Unlimited for a number of years when the opportunity came about to be able to, to purchase the laughs. Uh -huh. She brought it to Lori and myself and it looked like such a good deal. Uh, we said cool. absolutely. And we because we knew absolutely nothing about comedy, running a bar or running a and, nightclub. And she knew a lot. So uh, she knew enough team. to get us started. So we yeah. know enough all the time to get ourselves in trouble, but we always <laughs> seem to be able to get ourselves out of it. You know? so, so we're learning, you know, on on the fly every every week, every month, every year. We get a little bit more experience oh, so we're better. That's at awesome. It. You'd never know it because it seems so smooth from a fan base. Uh, we come in, we have a great time, everything's smooth, we love it. It's it's perfect. So I'm surprised to hear that. <laughs> it just seems like you're doing so well with it that you've learned, you just knew from the very beginning. So. Well, that too, and we have great staff. We oh, have great awesome. bartenders, managers, servers, our, our kitchen staff. And of course, the comedy is is what we consider to be the best around. Oh yeah, although awesome. they're not household names, they put on a great show every week and oh, brings yeah. the crowds in. Oh, that's awesome! Very cool, very good. Yes, I was here for New Year's Eve, and you had two very funny comedians there. They we really had a good time. It was really fun. So and four barrel and four barrel was here to play. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, we're here uh, supporting four barrel today. So very cool because it's Sunday and the fourth Sunday of every month. You always have four barrel here. That's so. correct. Very cool. Starts at three o'clock. So. <laughs> So, um, what is your business background? Uh, did you have any actual business background? Schooling, not not in running a nightclub. Okay. Primarily, uh, what I am is, is a sales person. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I was in the Navy for 26 years, 21 of that as a recruiter. Wow. Uh, then I got out and did job development uh -huh. uh, for a while. I'm a realtor. Uh, uh -huh. And in, in fact, that realtor background is what got us into the music a little bit. Oh, okay. And, uh, if you have another question on that, I'll follow up on how we started with the music and how we got into this whole business. Actually, that's fine because my next question was, when did you add the live music? <laughs> as, as you can see, you know, you're here in the afternoon mm -hmm. and you were here relatively quick. Mm -hmm. Not a soul in here. We're not the kind of, of, of bar that, that people would come into. We are a nightclub. True, true. So there's plenty of great bars down here to be able to hang out. And uh, right. uh, you know, have a drink, watch TV and stuff. We're not that kind of place. Right. So Lori and I would sit here in the afternoon by ourselves, Aww. waiting for people to come in and not have a clue. And not actually realize that you have a So bar, we'd look out the bar. window and we'd see all of those people at Joe's Crab Shack across the street and say, how do we get those people from across the street or from outside to come into Laughs Unlimited? Yeah. Well, I have a passion for music. Yeah. Okay, I've always loved music. I played in a band. I still sing with, with the guys. I'll probably do a, a couple Good. Uh, you know, later on good. Awesome. today. <laughs> Would have done Johnny Be Good today, but I was working uh, oh. <laughs> you know, real hard. Oh. Uh, uh, but anyway, I said, let's do live music. Yeah. Well, I really didn't have a clue on how to do that, on where to start. Uh, so this is the honest truth, and he's going to say, ah, oh, nah, you know, I'm, I'm not the guy. But I went to Gene Thorpe okay. up in Lincoln. I've worked with Gene uh, uh, as a realtor okay. uh, before, so I known him very well, and of course he plays, you know, with, mm -hmm. with the fabulous DeVilles uh -huh. cool. uh, and his own band, uh, the Gene, cool. Gene Thorpe Trio, <laughs> uh, who plays here, by the way, too. Nice. Uh, so pick Gene's brain, and we started off with Gene's band, the fabulous DeVilles, oh, nice. uh, Frankie Sorcy's band, the Stones Throw, and he brought in this band. Uh, you know, he said, "You're absolutely going to love them," called Four Bear. <laughs> so that's and how And so it we, we started off with that group and then it just blossomed wow. from there. Uh, wow. Once they started, bands started calling me up, 
we nice. auditioned, we, we brought people in, and now uh, over the three years that we've been doing this, we've had 48 different bands wow. you know, come through here now. Very cool. That is awesome. So it, it really brings the people in. Uh, you know, yeah. as, as, as you can see today, yeah. not many people in here. Philip hits that first chord of start me up, and the people just <laughs> pour right in. in. You're so right, because you're right. We walked in, we were the only ones here, but it was early. So, and they, a few trickled in, but when that music started, I mean, it was like a hurricane. Just all of a sudden I looked around and saw all the seats were taken. It was awesome. Right. Very cool. The whole business model is built on what I call the brown-eyed girl theory. Oh, uh, 60s it. and 70s classic rock music played to as close to the original as possible. Right. So that when people are walking by, you know, they hear a song that's familiar to them. And you can see the age group that's here. Right. You know, Absolutely. We, grew we, up we draw these in that, that 50s and 60s yeah. crowd with their grandkids. Yeah. That's the other thing. We're all ages. Yeah. So it's a place where, nostalgia-wise, you can come in and hear great 60s and 70s classic rock music. Right. Bring the family. All ages. You know, have have fun in the afternoon. Awesome. It doesn't get better than that. I no, love it. No, it really doesn't, as you can see today. <laughs> yeah, it's very fun. Very fun. Well, and, I, and you talked about being a music connoisseur, and I have seen you play guitar and sing, of course. And so tell me about your musical talent background. <laughs> well, there's not much musical talent. I, I just like to sing and we put on a good show. I'm a garage band, okay. if you will, connoisseur. Yeah, okay. okay. You know, uh, starting off with the Beatles and the Stones back in the 60s. Yeah. So it was that British invasion oh, yeah. that, you know, uh, you know, to... Uh, to be popular, you know, you had to play guitar and sing. True. Okay, so so we, so we did that. I started in the 60s. And then in the Navy, there was always musicians around. Oh. So you would play and sing and do kind that of pass type the time of thing. That so, way. so pretty much my background on that is just, you know, garage type of, type of stuff. You just know, having playing fun. Playing songs like that. Good for you. But the passion for the music you know, oh, yeah. is, is there. Yeah. The 60s and 70s music. Yeah. You know, uh, just is still the best to me. That's why a lot of the bands are coming back right oh, now. Oh yeah, it's you know, getting it's huge. It's huge in this town. Right, Absolutely. and and that's what we look for. You know, this is classic rock music, a little bit of blues sometimes in the winter. Uh -huh. Oh uh, yeah, okay. But it, it's those nostalgic songs that brings people in because we know that in the afternoon right now people aren't going to come here for a long time. It's not like going out and partying. Right. You know, True. nine nine to one at. Uh, uh, yeah. at a bar or a bar, nightclub. Yeah. So kind of we, know, we know that people are either going to or coming from some place. Oh, right. And again, as you can see today, people come in for a set because they've got to look at the clock and say, right. hey, we got to get home for and dinner. Then they, then, but others stroll in, so yeah, it's like a revolving door. Right, so yeah. again, the whole business model is built on people coming in, listening Very to great cool. classic rock music, having a drink, having fun. Uh, and then saying, you know what, when we have friends or relatives you know, coming them back. in from out of town or whatever, cool. let's go down to Laughs Unlimited on a Saturday or Sunday because they're going to have good music. Absolutely. And then, of course, they get to stay for the comedy show afterwards, which there is a big go. perk. Man, you can't lose. I tell you, that's an awesome business model. Very cool. <laughs> that's great. Well, for those that want to know, what are Laughs hours of operation and your location? Okay, well, we're at 1207 Front Street in Old Sacramento. Uh, easy to remember is we're right next to the Tower Bridge parking garage and directly across from Joe's Crab Shack. Very cool. Hours of, hours of operation, we're, we open, we're closed on Mondays. Oh, okay. But every day we're open at 11 in the morning, and okay. that's normally when I get here to, do, uh, to answer the phone calls, uh, take deliveries and that type of okay. stuff. And then we're here till 2 o'clock in the morning. Dang. On Tuesdays, uh, the first and third Tuesdays of the month is our open mic comedy. Oh for the up-and-coming comedy oh, nice. people. On the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month, I do my open mic jam oh, for musicians. Cool. And that's how I audition the new bands Very right cool. now. Rather than uh, look at a YouTube or a CD or whatever, yeah. come in and play. We have a drum set set up. We have uh, awesome. the microphones, the amps, guitars, everything. So all I've got to do is come in, Play me a couple of songs, and you, and you, you, know, decide. you might get signed up to play at Laughs Unlimited. Great. So you have Wednesday, lots of things Wednesday going Wednesday is, is a very fun night here at Laughs Unlimited. Starting at 8 o'clock, we have karaoke. Oh, nice. Uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> nice. Uh, and, of course, no cover for that. Thursday nights through Sunday nights is our comedy okay. nights. Okay. Thursdays and Sundays, $10 okay. cover. Oh, that's awesome. Thursday nights at 8 o'clock. Sundays starting at 7. Okay. And then our big nights Friday and Saturday okay. for 
two shows, 8 o'clock and 10.30. Very nice. Now, something that people should know about our comedy is that you're not they're not household names. You're not going to know them. Okay. But Jenny and Lori go extensively through resumes oh. and CDs and YouTubes and interviews yeah. uh, to be able to bring the best stand-up comedy that's available right now at a very reasonable price. Very cool. You know, $15 on Friday, $20 on Saturday. It's a fun night. <laughs> and then, you know, a lot of discounts. We, we do stuff on Groupon, so uh, when we go up on Groupon, that's a great deal. Okay, cool. Awesome. Very cool. And then you can always, you know, if you ask me for tickets, if you're here during the music, you know, I'm an easy hit up for tickets you, to the you, comedy you've show. You dished a few out to me. I love yeah. it. I took them to work. So <laughs> sure just to add here. to that, we could bring in a bigger name like Dane Cook, the mm -hmm. the big hot names that play at the big the auditorium or Arco Arena. Yeah. But we'd have to charge a or a small oh, venue. Yeah. We'd have to charge one hundred and fifty dollars a ticket, and that's not an affordable night out. True. We have the up and coming comedians that five years from now people are going to say, "Oh my God, I saw him at Last Unlimited." Yeah. Um, for you know twenty dollars a ticket. With I drinks saw you and stuff, when. it's probably a fifty or sixty dollars for an evening's entertainment. Yeah, very cool. Um, very but, cool. But it's not. You're not going to. People call up and say, "Who's performing?" And they, I've never heard of that one. Yeah, they so never have heard of them. But yeah. in the, there, we have some comedians that are going to go far. We know that That's you're awesome. going to see them. They're going to be the Dane Cook of five or ten years from now. Wow, very cool. And in this economy right now, the, this is the way to go because you get more people out. You know, people will spend less money to go out and have a good time. Sure, they, we're aware of that. You see, and, and we're a mom and pop operation, so we're not a corporate thing. Yeah. Uh, and it, speaking of that, if anybody's interested in doing a fundraiser or a special event, a birthday party, an anniversary, you give us a call, 446 8128. Nice. Uh, and, <laughs> We can arrange that. It's a fun place. We're easy to work with and very, uh, cool. very accommodating. Very cool. Well, that's awesome. Great interview. Is there anything else you'd like to say to Lynn's Hangouts or to your fans? Well, what we'd like to do, again, is thank you for doing this. Uh, there's, there's a lot of competition with music there is. out there. Yeah, right there now. is. And again, what I like to believe, and maybe, you know, I'm, I'm a little uh, 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 prejudiced <laughs> <laughs> on that, but I think for Laughs Unlimited, week after week, we are the best kept secret in, in music. No nice. cover, great classic rock bands over here, a lot of fun, family atmosphere, and again, as I said, uh, all ages, it's a place that you can bring your kids to hear that great classic cool. old rock and roll. Very cool, I totally agree. Thank you so much for your time, I greatly appreciate it, we're going to love seeing this on my website. Absolutely, all thanks right. very much. Thank you very much.